How do you solve a problem like McConnell? You go hard. You use the courts and you go hard. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So can we take just a moment and celebrate the fact that judges, let's start with federal court judges, judges that were appointed by presidents who were Republican and judges appointed by presidents who were Democrats, judges all across the judicial, philosophical, ideological spectrum, and state court judges, Judges who ran for judicial office as Republicans or who ran as Democrats. State court judges who were appointed by governors who were either Republican or Democrat. All of them rejected Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani's seditious lawsuits. Their attacks, their ugly, un-American attacks on the election results. What can we learn from this? Well, I suggest that we can learn that even when we have an executive branch that refuses to behave lawfully, and even when we have half of a legislative branch that stands with a criminal president rather than standing with their own constituents, the judiciary remained strong. It remained dedicated to the rule of law. It remained reliable. And folks, that's not nothing. That's not nothing. So what should our takeaway be? Well, the Republicans have been on the attack for four years, and that has only intensified in recent months with their, you know, using the courts as a nefarious weapon to try to undermine the will of the American voters. The Republicans have been attacking and attacking and attacking, and the Democrats seem to always be reacting, responding on defense. You know, D should stand for Democrat. D should not stand for defense. So against that backdrop, let's talk about Mitch McConnell. When it comes to Mitch McConnell and what he has done to this country for the last four plus years, can we ask ourselves this question? Do we really think the framers of the Constitution believed that if a Senate majority leader took all of the bills duly passed by the House of Representatives and dropped them into his own little legislative graveyard with a chuckle and refuse to let the Senate debate those bills or vote on them. Do we really think the framers of the Constitution envisioned that our only response would be a shrug of the shoulders and an oh well? Do we really believe that the framers of the Constitution would say if a Senate majority leader refuse to give a confirmation hearing to a presidential nominee to the Supreme Court. If a Senate majority leader said, Mr. President, you will not seat this Supreme Court nominee. We will not give you an advice and consent hearing as is required in the Constitution. Do we think the framers of the Constitution would have said, all you can do is shrug your shoulders and say, oh well, You know, I've said this before, folks. If Mitch McConnell, like he did to Merrick Garland, refuses to do his constitutional duty, refuses to give a president's nominee a timely confirmation hearing so the Senate could provide advice and consent as is required in Article 2, Section 2, Clause 2 of the Constitution, 
if Mitch McConnell does that, what a president should do, I suggest, is just say, well, Senate Majority Leader, Senator McConnell, then I deem you have waived the Senate's ability to provide advice and consent. Um, Judge Garland, please take your place on the Supreme Court bench. And then Mitch McConnell would have had to have run into federal court and say, Judge, Judge, I, as the Senate Majority Leader, am allowed to rewrite the Constitution. I am permitted to say there will be no advice and consent from the Senate. There will be no confirmation hearing. I am permitted to tell a president you may not seat a Supreme Court justice. And I'm permitted to tell the House of Representatives that I will not put any of your bills up for debate or vote. I'm allowed to do that. I'm the Senate Majority Leader. I can rewrite the Constitution. You know how the courts would likely rule? No, you can't, Mitch. You can't. You know, we have to stop letting the D stand for defense. We have to go on the offensive. We have to attack, honestly, ethically, aggressively, in the courts when need be. We have to attack the unconstitutional behavior of Mitch McConnell because justice matters. It matters. As always, folks, thank you for tuning in to these daily YouTube videos. Um, if you would like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts, you can go over to patreon.com and you can sign up to become a patron. If you choose to do that, I'll send you some Team Justice stickers uh, together with a handwritten personal note of thanks. Of course, you can always find me on Twitter all day and night trying to answer your legal questions at Glenn Kirshner 2 And we've recently started a Facebook page, Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner. So if you're inclined, please go over to Facebook and, and like our page. As always, folks, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.